Hey, what's up, y'all? Your boy blew up on here. Sorry if you're watching on the YouTube channel. I had a little technical difficulties. Sorry for the dead air at the beginning there. Um, but nevertheless, um, I wanted to finally do a track-by-track -track review of Yum Yum's Lore because I usually like to wait until I get a hard copy of a CD, but um, they haven't put it up for sale yet. Only people who got, like, Patreon gift bags um, or able to get a copy, a hard copy of Yum Yum's Lore. And um, I really need to get that shit myself. Um, so when they put it up for sale, I can't, uh, I'm gonna fucking order that shit. If I don't have the money, I will raise the money and I will get that hard copy because I'm gonna buy the Yum Yum's Lore, the Yum Yum Flower, then the three separate seeds, and then all together as Yum Yum Bedlam. You know, it's gonna be like five different releases. Well, the Lore, the Flower, one, two, three seeds, and then um, it all together. So I think they're going to be uh, having six releases for this Joker's card, I believe. Uh, maybe I got my, my intel wrong. I don't know. That's purely rumors and speculations. All right, but I, I remember the track list offhand, but still, I'm just going to open it up here just to be sure um, to talk about each track. All right, the opening track, Bewitching, um, I like it. Um, it. It's that imagery, you know, you can just picture in your head what they're saying. You know, um, you hear what Violent J says first, and then you hear Shaggy. I like Shaggy's part because um, it talks about how the flower um, picks up your person uh, picks up um, the person that they lured in. Uh, well, first her pollen, her pollen in the air, draw, um, you know, uh, bewitches you into looking at her beauty. And then that entices you more to get up close to her. She like, you know, it's part of her magic or whatever. And then when she grabs you, uh, I like Shaggy's part because um, talks about the flower grabbing you and then, um, lifting you up and chomping on your head and eating your brains. Um, Bad Apple says, Violent J went hard on this shit. I love his flow on Rain Falling Down and song number two. Um, I think it's called uh, The Smell of Rain. I think that's my favorite song on the whole thing. We'll get to that in a second. Um, I think it is called Smell of Rain, though. Um, so hold on. Yeah, it's called Smell of Rain. We'll get to that in a second, though. But Bewitching, the opening track, yeah, it doesn't rhyme or anything. It's just giving you uh, imagery of what the Yum Yum flower is, um, you know, when she lures you in. Um, so I like that. I like I like that. I don't see why people are hating on that. I feel like a old school dark carnival feel from that actually personally myself all right track two loyalty loyalty i think is pretty fresh um you know i i think um violent j and shaggy both delivered on this um you know and uh there's just a lot of meaning behind it man talking about loyalty integrity and love and lust and betrayal and stuff like that you know and um you know it really really uh hits home for me because of, like of all the unloyal um friends that i used to have you know uh i found out who was loyal and who believes fucking lies and slander and shit like that who my really real friends are you know it's all about loyalty integrity and respect and shit where it's due track three uh, afraid of life with the dude from Alien Ant Farm. Um, you know, the guys who uh, who redid Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal song back in, was it the early 2000s, I want to say? Um, I don't know. Life's just a blur. But I really love Afraid of Life. It's, you know, that happy-go-lucky, wicked pop shit that, uh, that we all know and have come to love from ICP. Twisted Metal 7 says, this is one of my favorite CDs from ICP. Same here. Same here, bro. And it really, you know, I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. I've seen so many jugglers hating on this. But I personally love it. 
But Afraid of Life, yeah, some of that happy-go-lucky, wicked pop shit. I love that. It's, it's a good jam. And then track four, Smell of Rain. Now, this is my favorite track on the CD. The beat reminds me of My Axe. You know, when the beat comes on, it's, it sounds very similar to My Axe beat. Um, Smell of Rain, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's called Smell of Rain. I'm looking at the track listing here now. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love the track. I love the beat. I love the hook. I love the smell of the rain or something, something in the morning. Uh, in the summertime, I'm still memorizing it or whatever, but, you know, um, more storytelling. You have Violent J storytelling about, you know, um, stalking and murdering people, you know, uh, I guess while it's lightly raining in the morning and you can smell the rain, you know, and it's a good day for a murder. Um, but no, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I love the smell of rain so much. That's my favorite song on the CD. Um, that one you can sing along with. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's just love singing along to happy go lucky wicked pop shit, you know. Um, Ding Ding Doll was the first single released from this project. And uh, at first I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't a big fan of Ding Ding Doll. Yeah, it's that cool wicked storytelling little horror movie in a four minute song. Um, maybe it's five minutes somewhere around there. I don't know. But yeah, it's just like a little horror movie, you know, but at first it was, I, I, I didn't find it too appealing because, um, of its slow tempo, you know, but, um, the more I listen to it, the more it grows on me. And now I have a love and respect for it. You know, it's not my favorite. I guess I would have to say it's my least favorite track on the EP, but still it's a good song. Um, I like the flow. I like where it is in the EP and the flow of, uh, the uh, tracks here but um yeah ding ding doll it's a, it's a chill track you know some of that wicked storytelling shit you know what i'm saying but like i said i didn't like it at first but the more i listen to it the more i like it just sometimes i'm not in the mood for it you know i want that upbeat happy go lucky wicked pop shit um but yeah ding ding doll um good song nevertheless track six i've had it worse um it's a good song. Um, it's a good song. You know, um, I like the um, the hook where it says, look me in the eye. And I like when, when that's playing on my show, I like to fuck around with my eyes and make the people cringe. You know, looking at the camera all weird. Look me in the eye. Look me in this eye. Not that eye. All right. This eye. This eye right here is my dominant eye. <laughs> yeah, but no, had it worse. I've had it worse is talking about like, hey, man, you think your life is shit, man? It could be way worse. You know, there's people out there that had it way worse. Good track. Track seven, Candyman. Um, I, I like Candyman. It's a it's a good, um, you know, uppity beat uh, tempo or whatever. Talking about, you know, buying illegal things. Um, from the candy man, you know, his candy is illegal, like, I don't know, weapons and drugs and different things or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's a good track. I like it. Um, you know, like I said, I can listen to this EP from front to back, um, and on replay, you know, I'm, I've been playing the shit out of this. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to do this review was to talk about track eight, the last track called Clown Heads. Now, they're talking about um, paintings that Violent J and Shaggy 2-Dope drew are drawing these clown heads in their own blood. Now, if you saw the one interview, I think it was from the uh, shoot interview they did with Chris Hansen. I want to say, because I think that's the only one I watched uh, from their Patreon and things. But they said, um, I think Jump Steady and Jay explained that, yeah, they're going to be, ICP are going to be painting pictures in their own blood and auctioning off these pictures. They're going to be making like, I think 13 uh, clown heads to sell to uh, lucky juggalos who can obtain them. But yeah, that, that the, um, the last track on the EP here, clown heads is basically promoting, talking about how they're going to be painting these pictures in their own blood, literally violent J and shaggy Tudo are going to take their own blood and paint pictures with them and sell them the juggalos. Um, so uh, that is a little weird and like cultish kind of like weird shit, but you know, Hey, that's juggalo shit for you. 
Um, Candyman is your favorite, Darren. That's what's up. Um, songs like Afraid of Life are good for concerts, but I probably won't ride around bumping it. Not bad at all, but yeah, 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 I feel you there. You know, sometimes you're in the mood for different songs. Sometimes you're not, you know, um, to each their own and whatnot. Um, the ending to Clown Heads is a wicked sounding. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, bedlam, this way comes. Yeah, yeah. I like just letting that play until the um, till it uh, replays the whole thing over again. But, yeah, that's that's wicked. I, it, it's trippy, you know, the little sound effects. And then, yum, yum, bedlam, this way comes. Yeah, that shit is fucking wicked. I love that shit, too. You know, Um I've never cared to say I've had it worse than others, so I wasn't a big fan of number six. Yeah, you know, it's like, um, you know, what are they looking for, a pity party or something? You know, you think your life is bad. I had it worse. You know, I think, I don't know, it's, a, it's um, you know, something to ponder, but, you know, uh, like um, a satellite off of Fearless Fred Fury, you know, they're trying to make you take a look at it and realize that, yeah, you might have a hard life, but it could be worse. So you should be glad that it's not worse. And, you know, just count your blessings and say your prayers, fam. You know what I'm saying? Mm, fuck, I ran over 10 minutes, so I can't put this on IGTV. But um, thank you for watching on my YouTube channel, on Facebook. If you watch this on Facebook, please come uh, give the YouTube video a hit and comment. Be sure to leave a like, comment. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that bell, then all to get all notifications. Um, join my channel's community um, for two dollars or more a month. If you join the ten dollar tier a month, then I will promote you every single day, whatever you want. Um, God status starts at ten dollars a month. So let's see, is there anything I want to play on my switchboard before I get going here? Uh, here's a quick word from our sponsors. The joy of whole room freshness. Glade plug-in scented oil fan. It's all around you, you don't even know it. It's the only freshener to use a continuous built-in fan. It's just there in the air. Unlike some fresheners that seem strong just around the outlet, the Glade fan continuously circulates fragrance throughout your whole room. This shit will blow your motherfucking mind. Magic everywhere in this bitch. Plug-in scented oil fan from Glade. The pure motherfucking magic of fragrance. All right, and here's an update on my policy. Hey, what's up, everyone? Your boy blew up on here asking you to please join my community. Become a member of my cult for only $2 or more a month if you're feeling generous. I've decided now that if you uh, do at least a $10 tier, I will promote you all throughout the month, every month, if you join for $10 a month. Uh, but I would really appreciate it if you're feeling generous and have the means to. If you really like my promotion, consider becoming a god for $25. Um, I really don't expect anyone to buy the $50 tier. But yeah, you know, do it so I can buy my cat treats, okay? He's a needy cat. So thanks for watching. Love you guys. Woo woo. All right, what's up, everyone? If you're just joining at this point, um, I already did the review. Um, so I want to play a one more quick video from TikTok, just to tag on the end here. Um, hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Fred the Boy Blue from YouTube, and I support Juggalos. Twisted Juggalos, Wicked Clown Juggalos, Clown Lives Matter, Juggalo Lives Matter, fam. All right, it don't matter what your color is, what your religion is. We come from all walks of life. Everybody matters. It's not just about one race or nationality. So, yeah, black power, white power, uh, Hispanic power, just everybody power, you know what I'm saying? Let's uh, just fight back against police brutality in general. Because, uh, personally, I can tell you I was a victim of it myself. So, I can relate, you know. And jugglers are getting, uh, you know, in trouble for just the music we listen to. And it's ridiculous. You know, we need to stand up for ourselves. Juggalo lives matter. 
All right, fam, and that's it. Thank you for watching my review of Yum Yum's Lore. Um, if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing with your life? Please subscribe, hit the bell, then all to get all notifications. Catch me live. And also, um, I'm going to start streaming more to the Boy Blue Show channel. Oh, excuse me, the Boy Blue Show. So it's linked on my channel. I'm waiting for the night bot to post it here in a second. Um... Yeah, thank you everyone for your continued support, whether you're just a viewer, all the way up to the financial supporters. Like I said, if you have the means, please consider joining my channel's community for starting at $2 a month, where you get the Juggalo Lives Matter t-shirt at. My mom ordered it off of Amazon. You can go order it off of Amazon right now. I'm sure they're there. Just go to uh, Amazon. And uh, search for Juggalo Lives Matter. I'm sure you'll find it. So, yeah, I'm going to try to end this at exactly 17 minutes. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I love you guys. Whoop, whoop.